Hey guys, welcome back from Pixel Insane and today I'm just going to show you the full workflow from Wonder Studio, from Wonder Dynamics and Blender. So we are going to upload a video and let the AI do all the work for us, but there are some things that we can do with uh, exporting certain things like a Blender file, the mockup data, masks, all the images, even the clean plate. We will have a much better result because we can handle and manage those files ourselves, like the Blender file, so we can check the lighting we can check the camera we can check the textures everything is amazing and like i mentioned we can have a better clean plate so without further ado let's begin first thing you gotta do is to go to wonderdynamics.com link is in the description below and if you are not a beta tester already you have to click here on the request access and fill up all the form and then wait for them to get back to you so you will have the access to the beta once you have the beta access from your email just click on open app and you will be directed to this page right here. This is my own page, obviously. And you can see I got some project going on by going to the folder, my project. Right there, you can see the one that I've done on YouTube. This one right here. If you want, you can check it out on my channel, obviously. And then I've done another one right here. Check it in my shorts right here the one with Tobey Maguire and also done a couple of tests at the beginning but basically what you got to do if you go to the home page you will have like some examples uh, for the characters that you can use and some videos of live action that you can use for practice and for today's tutorial I'm just going to show you how to make this If you like the result, please do consider to subscribe, like and comment down below. All right, from the home page, let's click on new project and let's press continue right here. Or if you already had some projects, you can go into my assets and choose the one that you have. I have already done the one with the skateboard, so I'm just going to click and drag this one into right here and wait for it to load and very quickly it will upload the file then we're going to just click on next but before you can check the video right here from the timeline you can just play it yeah and that's it you can go back um, you can increase the timeline right here at the bottom with this uh, scroll bar and then we press next to find the actor in the scene. Basically, the AI system will find humans and people to attach the motion capture to. And right away, we can see here right at the bottom, choose actor. Click in the scene for each clip to choose the actor you would like to replace. Just click on that, and it will scan for uh, people and humans in the scene. It's gonna take a few seconds, and that's it. You will see these little boxes. If I hover over, hover over, <laughs> Uh, you will see them. Uh, this is not an actor. This is an actual bean, but this is a person. This is a person. This is another person and there's another person and we have another one small right here and that's obviously uh, the other big one, which is me. If you want to check my skate channel, you can. It's Insanity Skateboard. It's all insane. Insanity Films, Insanity Skateboard, Pixel Insane. Hmm. Anyways, in this particular scene, we can add all the actors we want by just clicking and then just dragging one of the characters right here inside the box. Basically, we have already one character right there. And then I'm going to drag this one right here. For example, the girl like in, in the shot that I've already done on myself. And then we can drag the, the professor to this, this dude in the background right here. And so we have actor one, actor two and actor three. But uh, I haven't done this yet, so if you want to see multiple characters in one scene done by Wonder Dynamics, please do let me know in the comments down below so I'll make a separate tutorials on this one. So for now we're just going to unassign this character and unassign this character and remove them from the scene on the left top. Just click the three dots and press delete. Once this one is done, this is my own character, actor 2. I can press next right this is the important part is how you want the output to be so we can choose from 720p 1080p and 4k resolution video so let's choose 4k 
why not? And then the format of the video, we can have it in MP4 or in a sequence images of PNGs, which is really handy if you want to, but for now we can just leave it at MP4. Do I want the AI mocap data? No, in this case I want the blender scene, the clean plate and the alpha masks, just in case. As you can see, the camera track is not available yet, it will come soon, and the character pass, it will come soon. So we're gonna just click here, blender scene, and then clean plate, and alpha masks. And then we just press start processing. And while the video is processing, make sure to check the video right here, the Spider-Man what the f... About this video, actually, I'm selling the file project, the Blender file project on Gumroad, link in the description down below. And also the uh, other video that I made with uh, uh, Spider-Man's as well. Of course, it's Battle at Liberty Island right here. And why not check in my Blender free material playlist right here. And if you feel generous enough, you can support me on Patreon as well. Back in Wonder Studio, this is gonna take a very long time, depending on the video. This is only a couple of seconds, and it's gonna take probably half an hour to an hour. Imagine if you have a 5, 10, 15 second scene, it's gonna take longer, but you need to plan what you're going to do if you're going to make some other videos as well or um, you do another project and then leave this one as it is but now because of the magic of editing we're just going to be finished and it's finished here we are here in blender 3.5 obviously i'll take for granted that you exported and downloaded all the file that you needed which will be the clean plate the alpha masks and the blender file and the video itself or in pngs if you want it so i'm just going to go to open and don't save and in my desktop I already have a folder so the blender scene is right here I'm just gonna go and open this one right there and there we go he will have it right there and if we play it and press the camera view there you go but when you turn the viewport shading on you will have everything pink because you don't have the textures to download the textures inside the blender file you will have a text file which is right here you could just click it and copy the link right there and then go to your obviously to your browser and just paste it right there and you will be directed to this one right here and choose your character and you will have the options to download the textures for this particular character so you click it and just download it and after downloading the textures make sure you put them inside the same folder and then go to file in blender and external data and find missing files and just basically go back to the folder where the textures are sandy textures and just click find missing file and they will load in the scene if i press the render view and remove the gizmos you will see the render right away even in real time because i have a pretty powerful graphics card uh, the first thing we notice is the light is not really the same in fact i can see a shadow under my chin under my face and uh, you know it's not really perfect we can see that the light comes from right here because there is another shadow you know the shadow behind me and also the contact shadows but this one is not really uh accurate even though if we go to frame 51 where the ollie the trick is actually pretty good and let's do it it should be right here yeah um, you can see that kind of matches, but this is because I already tweaked the lights, so don't get me wrong, I already did. Also, I made another version, which is this one right here. I changed the shoes, I put on some bands, some skate shoes, uh, downloaded them from Sketchfab. I also downloaded a normal map for the skin, which is really, really cool because it was too flat, even though you don't see it, but, you know, it makes a difference. Also, I added my own logo of my skateboard company, Insanity Skateboards, right there, and I changed the color of the shirt because in the original is actually orange obviously i changed it all in photoshop but you can do whatever you want this was for my own purposes and make it cool like i said you can change whatever you want you can add other lights for example on this one i changed the rotation and the strength of the hdri also i changed the angle of these two sunlights this one right here and this one right there and the strength as well so to really match this one on uh, on my original shot after you are happy with the result in blender you can just set your render settings right here for example in my case i set the samples to uh, 1024 i put like a little bit of the noise um, 
and then what else i checked the folder options blah 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 uh in this case i had uh, some play blast or recording from the viewport so but make sure you change it to uh, whatever format you want pngs so you have um, a transparent background after you do that we can jump into after effects all right here in after effects i'm just going to show you a breakdown of what i did because otherwise it's going to get too long so first thing first here we have the original video obviously right there let me fit oh that fits cool so we have the original video and then i use the alpha masks that comes with uh wonder studio when you download them and i literally put them inside there there you go and then i use them to remove myself with content aware fill because the original clean paint was a little jagged uh, i can show you how it was so i just imported it and this was the original clean plate from wonder studio As you can see, you can still see myself doing the trick, even though it's really well covered, but you can do a lot better yourself with After Effects. So what I did, like I said before, just using the, the cutout from the alpha that I got from Wonder Studio, the, the masks, I re-cut out myself and then I use these fills and look at that. It's way cleaner, way better. Obviously there are some artifacts right here, for example, but I fixed them with another mask right here. And then of course we have the talent the rendered right there, all the PNGs. And then we have the skateboard itself, which I masked out myself manually frame by frame so I can have it properly right there with the clean plate, sorry, right there. And there you go. So it's a little cleaner. The skateboard is much more visible and that's pretty much it it's all well covered obviously it's not super perfect but the clean plate is actually really really good as you can see right there and boom one other cool thing that i've noticed if you go back to blender so now we are in camera view but if i move it around when you go to the end you can see that the actual character does a really weird thing to match the motion as you can see in the original right here it doesn't look like it does that, but to match the perspective, this is what it actually does. See? But in perspective, it looks perfect. And this is the power of AI, I mean, I understand that. And since we are here in Blender, obviously you can go into pose mode in the rig and change whatever you want. I actually changed the hand before, it was a little bit different. It's this control right here, let's remove the mirror and yeah, I kind of tweaked it a little bit. Also be careful with the weight paint. You can see some artifacts like that. And in the render, they will show really bad. To have a little bit of motion blur, I added a real smart motion blur plugin, which allows you to kind of put a little bit of motion blur, as you can see right here on the shoes. And yeah, we can crank it up a little bit more just to show you. So basically in Blender, I didn't render with motion blur because I was getting artifacts. I can't recreate the issue right now, but some of the skin weights were pulling when the motion blur was on. So I removed it and yeah, I just figured to use the real smart motion blur in After Effects. And that's all there is for this video about Wonder Dynamics, Wonder Studio workflow with Blender. So you can see it's very cool that you can kind of manipulate and change whatever you want with the Blender file, the lights, uh, the masks and everything. Because let's face it, the result from Wonder Studio is not still super great. There are still some artifacts behind the clean plate, which I'm sure they will fix. But in the meantime, we have still have the power to make it better with After Effects and Blender. So if you like this video, please do consider to subscribe and please drop a like. It means a lot to me. And if you want to support the channel, you can do it in many ways. Patreon, Gumroad or whatever you want. Even donation on my website for the free materials that I release every week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.